What's going on guys, Sam Man here with another figure review and today I'm going to be showing you guys a little, it's not really a custom because you can purchase this online and uh, this is the Hot Toys, this is the Red Man, it, uh, you can see here the maker is by Red Man, this is the Rick Grimes kit. Now it says here RM101, I'm not too familiar with this kit to be honest with you. The reason how I got this was Josh at Frankensons was telling me he's going to pick up some Rick Grimes head sculpts and I ended up picking up the kit because I know he sells a kit. So if you guys are interested in this, you guys can get it on eBay or if you're at Frankensons, Josh has the kits for these um, Rick Grimes, the outfits. Now it's just a regular box here. You can see right here it does read Redman Toys RM01 and then you got the image of like uh, the figure right there and it doesn't have the head sculpt because it doesn't come with the head sculpt. But if you open this up I'll show you some of the extras that comes in this here. So you get a few different um, hands which all fell out. So you get this uh, walkie talkie with Rick uh, for Rick Grimes. You can see right there. It's pretty nice. It's nothing like hot scale or not hot scale, um, hot toys uh, like quality, but it still does the trick. And you got some interchangeable hands here. You got these here, which are which are pretty good. You can see that right there. You got uh, another one here, which is you know in case you want to hold the gun. And you got uh, two close fists. I actually picked up two of the these Rick Grimes. I picked up the police officer one from season one, um, but I ended up giving that as a Christmas gift to my sister. I'll show you guys a picture of what it looked like. So I'll drop that into the video, and then I'm gonna take out Rick Grimes. Here's the figure right here. You can see he's already built. Um, Josh put him together for me. You, he does. He did give me this uh, base right here with the adjustable cradle, and it does read Rick Grimes right there and The Walking Dead, and it's pretty nice the way this is um, uh, put on there. So this is pretty cool that I get an adjustable cradle with this. And looking at the figure, I'm gonna adjust the camera here, and then he does come with a, you know what, he has another accessory here, and I don't know where I left it, but there is another, here it is right here. He comes with a huge like machete that you do see him wear, and like, uh, this is like more of like a season three Rick Grimes. You can see right there, it's it's pretty nice. It does the trick, you know, it's nothing, again, it's nothing like Hot, uh, Hot Toys quality, but it's still pretty good. You get this really big machete right here. It's a softer material. It's not sharp at all, but um, very nice. So you can have Rick Grimes, you know, um, display him with this if you really wanted to. So looking at the figure, he does come with his signature-like handgun right there. Gonna take this off, you get that right there. It looks pretty good. There's the front of it, there's the side, you can see it's got a little bit of detailing in the handle. And I don't think none of this like cocks back or anything, so it's pretty good. And he does have a, a uh, holster right here as well. You can put that right in there. So looking at the, the head sculpt on the figure, so looking at Rick Grimes' head sculpt here, we're going to adjust the camera just a bit. And you can see, again, this isn't really like a licensed thing, so they couldn't really, you know, we don't have an official like Rick Grimes uh um, like Hot Toys figure, but you can see that this one looks pretty good. I'll give you a close-up right there. To me, he kind of looks like Rick Grimes, but he kind of does, and I guess it depends on the way you look at look at it, but to me, I mean, it, it looks like him sometimes, but then it doesn't. I do like the, uh, the, the detail, though, that they put in this, and he's got a little bit of, like, you can see the different colors that he has, like, in the face, and then the eyes look great. You get the eyebrows there, a little bit of wrinkles there, because he kind of does, always does that, like, facial expression. And then you got the uh, beard right there, which is actually done very nice. The sculpting on this is really good. You can see that there. And then you got the the hair looks on point as well. You got the ears. There's a back shot of the um, head sculpt, the hair. And as far as the clothing goes, the body, you have to pick up this body by yourself. I mean, on your own. It's uh, pretty much a Hot Toys body. So that's what I'm saying. This figure does not come complete unless you buy it online complete. But you can buy this piece by piece. The head sculpt, the clothing, and the accessories is all in a kit. And I think the boots are included. I'm not too sure. Again, Josh built this for me. But um, I know you have to purchase everything else separately. Jacket's pretty good. You got this really nice uh, material jacket and this is removable so you can if you really wanted to display him with just the shirt, you know, the button up shirt that he does wear like in started, I think it started like in season three where he got this kind of like look, I could be mistaken. Um, so you got that really nice jacket. It is cloth. You can see all the stitching right here. It looks pretty good. I'm not going to take it off though and he's got the uh, pockets right here. This one here and then I'll show you close up on the shirt there. But I'm not going to be taking this off. You got the collars. Got this really cool material right there. 
And then you got the belt right here. And he does have a knife, which is removable from the, um, the belt. You can see that right there. And you got the holster, of course, where you can actually put the gun in. And then there's the belt. I'll show you the back side of the belt. Lift the shirt up. It's got some more little like pouches here. And then you got the jeans. The jeans are actually really nice too. They kind of look like Levi's. They got that little tag right there. And uh, it's like a like a black, blackish color. You can see it is cloth. It looks really good. And you got his boots. I'll show you that right there. I don't know how high these go. But you can see the boots there. Looks like they go pretty high. Then you got the bottom of the boots. And then there's a top look. There's a back look. So overall, I really like this figure. Again, you can build it yourself. Um, just get the kits. Um, you can get the kits online, the um, the Redman Toys kit, or you can get them at Frankenstein's if you guys are at Frankenstein's. So there you have it, guys. There's my review. Let me know what you guys think about the figure. Again, I'm going to say this again. You can pick up the kit on e on eBay, or you can also go at Frankenstein's Collectibles. The head sculpts also. He, I know he picked the head sculpts up from um, some some seller on eBay. If you guys want the information, just leave me just leave um, a comment below. And the body itself is like a, one of those Hot Toys bodies. But let me know what you guys think about this uh, like figure. Again, it's not really a custom, but um, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Also, make sure to drop a comment below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We'll see you guys later. Take care.